Hi guys, I have some more food prep to share with you. I did some of this really early in the morning while my boys were packing their lunches and getting their breakfast and all of that stuff, so I didn't really show myself doing it, but I wanted to sh uh, share with you what I did. So we get a lot of leftover bread from Panera at our church and we can take it home and everything. And there's just no way we can eat it all before it goes stale. So I cut it into cubes a lot of times and just stick it in a freezer bag. And then I can make homemade croutons for salads. I usually don't make them until we're going to use them because they will just get really hard. And I have shown how to make those a few times in videos, but this is a great way to use any bread that you have that's going to go stale. And then I cut a huge watermelon. Um, my guys already took some of it in their lunches and Sean grabbed one, but I like to divide the fruit that I cut into little dishes just so that it's easy for them to grab for lunch and I can grab some, um, you know, for when I work out, I like to take fruit with me and it just makes it simple and easy so they don't have to mess with it when they're packing their lunches. And I did have the other half that I put in a big bowl and I can divide that up. We just don't have enough of these. Like I mentioned before, I think half of them are in my boys' locker. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's um, what I did today. Okay, I just got back from the grocery store. I've already put a bunch of my groceries away, especially the stuff that needed to be refrigerated. Um, so my fridge is pretty full and I usually just have everything out of the bags. I didn't do a grocery haul this week, but even way before I did grocery hauls, I find it best just to get everything out of the bag and like set it on your table or your counter and that way it's just easier to put everything away. And then as I'm taking stuff out of the bag, I set all of my fruit and any vegetables that I need to wash over here. And then like the bags of stuff, I just go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. I would set up my tripod and I was going to, but I realize I'm gonna be moving all around and it just stays focused on one spot. So basically I'm going to start with all of the stuff that needs to go in the pantry and I'll just start putting stuff, you know, way where it goes and then I'll fill up my canisters like I've talked about in a couple other food prep videos. And this is hard to do with one hand. A lot of times on Mondays we are running really low on snacks. Um, I have a few bags left and I'm going to wait to divide my snacks until tomorrow. Usually I do it after I get home from the grocery store, but I don't want to put fresh stuff in with this that I um, just bagged because it will, this might go stale if it's at the bottom. And we still have a few granola bars in there. I'm probably going to bake again tomorrow because I'll need to restock that. But basically I just start grabbing canisters and filling them up. And then if I have any extra bags, like I bought whole wheat pasta and I don't think it will fit in there, I'll just put the bag behind there. Or if I have room, I can put it in my extra bin. So I have room, you know, behind my canisters to keep all of the extras. So I've talked a lot about that in my pantry organization video. Um, so I'll link that below. Okay, so I put everything away and I do have my bags of snacks back there, but I'm going to be opening those tomorrow and tucked everything in their bins and any extra stuff I put down there, put my canned goods over here, and then everything else is pretty much in the refrigerator. And then I still need to wash my fruit. And I just have a few things over here. Um, I also know that I ran out of sriracha sauce, so I can just go ahead and put this in the refrigerator instead of putting it in the cabinet because we'll be using that. And then if I buy any cereal and we have some open cereal, I just go ahead and stick this behind it and that way we don't have a bunch of open boxes of cereal and that way it doesn't go stale. I just recently did a video on my fridge and freezer organization, so I'll link that below as well. But I do have some meat that I put in the refrigerator and I want to put it in the freezer. And I like to reuse the bags, so I just stick them over here in this side right here. And one of them is already labeled chicken breast, so I can use that for the chicken breast that I need to freeze. And then I have another one as well. So I just usually 
stick the meat right in the refrigerator so it stays cold and then wrap it as soon as I'm done um, putting everything away. I have shown this in the past, but I like to wrap my meat in aluminum foil and then put it in a freezer bag and that just kind of double protects it and I never have a problem with freezer burn. So I just wrap it up nice and tightly and stick it in the freezer bag and then stick it in my freezer. I just um, labeled them and put them in this little basket that I have for meat. I also have a loaf of bread and some tortillas that I want to freeze because we already have some bread in the fridge and I can just go ahead and freeze this. I have a bag of tortillas in my freezer so I'm just going to put this in there and then I like to put my uh, bread in a Ziploc bag as well. So I just wrapped that and put that in the basket that's for bread and tortillas. And then I like to keep my onions in a bag in my refrigerator. I've mentioned that before and the cucumber in the refrigerator as well. And I did already put some of this away and some of it I need to wash. So I've mentioned this before, but I keep my onions in a Ziploc bag with a cloth napkin and that just absorbs some of the moisture and they last a little bit longer. Okay, now I just need to wash all of this. I've shown this a few different times. Um, I have some really ripe bananas, so I'm going to stick these in my bag of frozen bananas for smoothies. And then I have a bunch back there that need to ripen. Okay, so everything's washed and put where it needs to go. I have all of the tortoise lettuce in there. And then my fruit drawer here. I have some watermelon cut up in here that I'd showed just a couple minutes ago for you guys and I have a huge bowl of it behind this spinach that I will uh, divide up soon. Washed and cut the strawberries. These don't last long in our house so it's very much fine for me to just put them in a bowl like this and then I washed our raspberries and I cut some lemons for my water. I am going to make some French bread type of pizzas for my guys. I just have this baguette from Panera we get these left over at our church a lot of times and I wanted to use it up plus I need to mix up their lunches a little bit. They might get a little tired of peanut butter and jelly. Um, so I am going to cut this into six big pieces. If you want to do the same thing, we usually have these baguettes like this at the grocery store for like $1.99. They pretty much have them at every grocery store or if you want to make your own, you could do that too. For the sauce, I just have a large can of tomato sauce. I put a little bit of salt, oregano, basil, and I did add a little bit of red pepper flake. And I just mix that in a little bit. And then I have pepperoni and I shredded some mozzarella cheese. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut my bread first. Okay, I have my bread cut into six large pieces and just like you would make a pizza. I am going to top them with the sauce, the cheese, and the pepperoni. And I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Okay, these are all set to go in the oven. And again, I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. And I'm going to pop them in there for about 10 minutes or so until the cheese is all melted and they're nice and crispy on the bottom. These are the pizzas after 15 minutes, so I'm just going to let them cool, and then I'll probably just wrap them in aluminum foil and stick them in the refrigerator, and then my boys can pack them for their lunch. Um, I get asked about this a lot. They just eat them without warming them up. They don't have any way to warm them up at school, but if you make these for kids at home, you could definitely pop them back in the oven for a couple minutes and warm them up, but they're good just at room temperature too. It is Wednesday morning and I divided the rest of my watermelon up into little dishes that we can grab for lunches or I can grab after I work out. And I'm just going to stick these in the drawer. I do have a whole other watermelon that I'll cut up in a couple of days. And we, have, we still have apples and pears and a pineapple and tons of bananas and stuff like that. But this just makes it easy for lunches. 
Okay, I am going to bake this brownie mix that I got in my Globin subscription box. This month's theme was bake and it came with all kinds of cool little things and one of the things was this brownie mix. So I figured I would use this. My bananas still aren't super ripe, so I'll probably bake something else at the end of the week. But I'm sure you guys don't need me to show you how to use a brownie mix, but this one is organic and you are supposed to use a eight by eight pan. I don't have one, so this is close enough. I actually got rid of mine and I need to replace it. I just keep forgetting to pick one up, so this will work. Um, but I'll let you know what it looks like when it's done. Um, it sounds pretty good. The ingredients are pretty good. Okay, here is the batter and I just had to say that brownie batter is the yummiest stuff in the whole world and if it wasn't for the stupid gluten, you know I would be tasting this. But this is dark chocolate, so I'm sure it will be really good. It is Saturday morning and I am going to restock some of our snacks. We have some things in the cabinet, but I'm going to make some banana chocolate chip muffins. I've been waiting for my bananas to ripen and I even did the paper bag and apple trick and they're ripe, but I like I usually like them to be a little bit more spotted, but I think they'll be okay as long as they're ripe. But I do have the full recipe for the banana chocolate chip muffins on my channel and I'll link that below. They're really good. I recorded it a while ago when I first started YouTube, but they're super easy to make and they make two dozen muffins. So, um, like I said, I have the recipe, but you'll need a half of a cup of butter softened, a half of a cup of sugar. I just had coconut sugar, so I'm using this that I got in my um, Globin subscription box. And then a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm using coconut sugar, which I think is a great substitute for brown sugar. Um, two eggs, three large bananas, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, two cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking soda, and one cup of chocolate chips. And like I said, I have the full recipe recorded, so I'll show you what they look like once I bake them, and then if you wanna make them, the recipe you know, will be in a separate video, and that will be easier for you guys to come back to it if you wanna make them. I left my watermelon uncut so that I could um, cut it up at the end of the week and that way our fruit would kind of last because we have like berries and apples and pears and some watermelon from last week and we have just a little bit of that left so um, just a little bit of watermelon in the dishes in the fridge so I'm going to cut this one and we have a few more bananas so that should you know be plenty for the weekend and then I can restock our fruit on Monday. I think I forgot to show the brownies that I made the other day. My guys started eating them right after I baked them, but they said they were really good. We have a couple of those left. Um, we have a few bags of chips left. I divide them early in the week for lunches just to make it easy so they can grab them and, you know, my boys don't have to get out the bag of chips and divide it when they're, like, trying to get ready for school. And they have to leave pretty early for school now that we've moved. But on the weekends, we usually have a couple bags left, and sometimes we even have to grab a couple more, depending on how much I buy. Um, but I, I sometimes just leave these with the chip clip on there, and there's another bag of chips back there for them to snack on. Um, but... Yeah, that should last us for the weekend, and then I'll restock on Monday. Okay, here are the muffins. I have been making these for years, and my guys love them. I'm going to end this here because my guys are coming in and grabbing food and everything, and it'll get a little loud. So um, if you want to follow the recipe, I will link it below. Thank you very much for watching. So the muffins that I made yesterday... <laughs> Um, this is all that's left the next day at 1 o'clock. <laughs> so yeah, these are good because they went pretty fast.